Hello and welcome back to Griftlands, Amodia Baratus. We have our, basically we're picking a job now. We have our, our it's everything's kind of laid out here. We have uh, a travel insurance job, mostly combat focus here. Combat focus up here and a combat focus here. Everything's combat focused for the moment. We also can get an enfeebling ray from our buddy Halit if we wanted to go visit him. Um, I don't know if we can get there safely, but I do want to try that out. This job here, where is it? This one, it gives us the Brain Gills card. And I think that sounds good too. It's a negotiation card that gives us extra XP for our cards if we play it first. That sounds actually pretty amazing and can help us level up things really, really fast. Let's do this first. Halit is happy to see you. I have something for you if you want it. Get Enfeebling Ray. Replen- Oh, I didn't see what it said. It said, Replenish, apply cripple. Attack damage by this target is reduced by 33%. And reduced by one. So you ever destroys it for two uses. So we only get to play this one twice. It's a it's an item card. That's fine. We don't really have any item cards, so that's the good thing for now, anyways. Put that to good use, yeah. Alright, thank you for your for your help. We appreciate your support. Let's go over here and do this one. I want to get that brain gills card. So we have to sounds like we have to beat up Ash and we have to make sure he doesn't die. And that's kind of up to him at this point, I think. A weir has the job for us here. Keep on the good side of the Admiralty and your livelihood will benefit all the more for it. Uh, we can attack the rival. So we're doing jobs for the Admiralty then too here, apparently. Well, okay. I guess it doesn't really matter. We can we can still we can work, work both sides here. Ash has gotten my nerve for too long, walking around like they're better than me. I'll give you good money to see him taking down a peg or two. What do you say? Get you know what I'm saying? Sure, attack a rival. Alright, hopefully this doesn't put us in deep water or somebody else. We can pick a card, target a random enemy, I don't like that. Copy this card to your discard. Spend a combo, draw a card. Extra money's nice. We have too many cards, I feel like. Just be careful not to actually kill him, though. I don't want that kind of trouble. Negotiate for battle. My resolve isn't great right now. And this can be kind of complicated, so I'm going to say no to that. If we do this battle good, though, we will get some more resolve off of that alone. So we have to head over here. Attack Ash. Remember, no killing. What's going on here? Road ahead is blocked by a group of Admiralty officers. I'm on a job for your guy here. A toll road now. It holds 150 shills. No, thank you. Convince to leave you alone or attack. He's got a lot of goons. Holy cow. Um, I got to try to convince him then. I don't hate to spend the resolve on this. I'm not giving him 150 bucks. I'm not paying any tolls ever. I'm not going to pay your tolls. We're going to get through this one. Um... Spend two influence, deal extra damage. We don't have any influence to spend. We have four coming in. Uh, let's get this composure back. And that will actually level up at the end of this turn, too, which will be nice. Um, we can gain some more composure back, not take any damage this turn. I might just want to lay this one out there, though. All right, that works for me. 25 now. All right. We had four. We had four block on that one. That's good. All right. So now we got to take this care of this guy for the... He's doing two to five and he's doing four other job over there. Okay. So, um... Bulldoze is a nice card to have. Whenever you play a hostile card, draw a card. Except it's all my turn then. All right, so I'm going to say play the Composure card here, gain an additional card every, every every card played this turn. Um, We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Then deal damage equal to half your influence to a random opponent. Yep, I want that. That's fine. And then I can fast talk him. Get rid of that. He's got some, we've got some damage coming in from this, but that's okay. I think it's going to be mostly blocked. Oh, the mind midbrain padding gives us extra composure to all my arguments. That's the, that's the graph we got last time. That's what's helping us out here now. So what we got, we got two coming in, two coming in. Okay. Well then I'm going to go gain the composure here. And let's do this too. Gain an action for every three cards in my discard pile. Play that one last, actually. Um, I'm 
block here. I'm going to discard this. And we're going to play this. Get some action back and play this. What is this one? Fr Frisk. He'll steal 10 shells from Salad each turn. Oh. Let's get rid of it. And again, maybe? Nice. All right. We got some dominance there. I dig. Oh, I forgot about the extra, extra composure there. That's great, actually. It's fantastic. Deal over one resolve damage to a random target. Okay, that's good. Uh, we got four coming in. Let's do that. That's going to be enough. Doesn't have any composure there. Let's do this. And let's do three to four. All right, works for me. That X, this thing is amazing. That's really helping out. I've lost one point, I think, so far. All right, actions available. We need actions. We need cards in our action deck for this to work nicely. All right, cards in our discard pile for this one to work nicely. We need cards. We need actions then to make this one work nicely. Um, he has six here. Insert one baffled into Sal's discard pile at the beginning of Kev's turn. I don't like that. Let's, um... Let's do this. Block that one. Because the extra damage is going to get transferred over to us anyways. Uh, we can get an act. We can get a action back for doing this one. And let's go here and see what happens. Oh, I didn't get it though. I didn't get it. Shoot. All right. He's going to put a baffled into my deck. Take two here. I'm just going to get transferred over to something else. Ouch, ouch. That's zero, though. Still didn't take anything. Okay, we got to take care of that, then, because it's going to get added in an extra, extra time here. Um, I can play this one for three. Probably should do this, though. Let's gain that. All right. Do this one. That's pretty good. Pretty solid. We have five coming in. I can't do anything about that, though. I have one action left. All right. All right. We're going to have to do this one, then. That's all I can do. We'll take a little damage here. Quite a lot of damage, actually. My influence is dismissed, then. Of course he goes after this now with eight. And you do ten to him to, to defeat him here. Um, let's see. Bulldoze is not gonna be enough. Let's do this. Um that works for me. Uh can go like this and deflect some more. There we go. And just add a little bit to him here. All right, now we're in, now we're in good shape. All right. Ooh, look at that guy! Interrogate for seven health on that thing. We just gotta go straight after him here. We gotta take him out. Seven points damage. Can we do it? We can get we get two, we get not a whole lot there for that one. There's nothing in my discard pile, so that's not gonna work. We do one to three with this, and that's it. So I gotta hope that. This does three times three, which for nine damage to him. That's what I got hope for. Otherwise, we're in big, big trouble. We did it. Yes. All right. All right. Pick a negotiation card. Let's see. Draw three cards. Draw again. Influence. Draw a card. Return your card. Next card you play to your draw pile. I don't know if I like that one either. 
This is one upgrade progress on it already. Let's, let's skip it. All right. And upgrades available. Let's do them. So we can go to four composure to all arguments and expend. I don't like that. Or gain six exposure, composure, expend. Oh, these now become an expend card. Oh, expend is for the rest of negotiation. That's fine. Um, I like this then. That's fine. Let's do this. Oh, the, the upgrades are random. That I didn't realize. There we go. That's actually pretty good. Because then we have like a little bit of both here. Depending on what the situation it calls for. Cool. I like it. Let's move on. Go on through, but only this once. We only lost like two points on that that uh, battle there. That's not too bad. All right. So we now we have attack rival. No killing. Here we go. Hired goons. Oh, I shouldn't be beating people up in his bar here. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. It's hard work being a bandit. Even harder when you're hooked on slurry. Can I, uh... They're all gonna attack me, though. I refuse this job. I refuse this job. You know what? We're gonna make friends with you first. There we go, buddy. Hey, man. You're all right. You're all right. Sorry about what happens next. Can we make him give us the gift and then attack him? Oh, yeah. Grand surprise attack. Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. <laughs> wow, really? That's really generous of you. You're all right. Ash loves you. Gain two damage. And then beat him up to make him back off. I have a message for you from over here. Oh, really? What that snail Ash wants? This! Oh, this is such a bad idea. Look how much health they have. And I'm all alone here. This is such a bad idea. What am I doing? Uh, Lux Thug. Raider Kuga. Raider Ash. Raider Durno. Oh, no. I have to attack all my friends here. They're going to murder me. Look at this. I love the solidarity, though. But I have no chance here whatsoever. This is just a bad idea. Okay. Well, um, can I run away? Is that an option? Is running away an option? No, it is not. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to pull this one out somehow. They have so much health. What is this one? Grants three power when below 26 health. And that's Lux, who's our friend. Oh, God. I hate having to attack my friends. I shouldn't have taken this job from that person. Okay. But I wanted that card. You don't understand. There was a card, you guys. You don't understand. What happens if I murder, like, four of these guys? What then? What will they think then? Applying a lot of bleed. He's got a wound. And he's got a, a, a bleed right now. And look at all this damage coming in. Oh, my God. I'm very well hit. I have bleed, 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 bleed. Bleed, 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 bleed. Oh, man. All right, Sal. I'm sorry about all this. Discard this card. Increase the damage of this card by four until you return to your hand. Okay. Enfeebling Ray. No. Let's try this. Apply four bleed, then deal damage equal to the target's bleed. That's kind of cool. All right, we got we got to take, make some moves here. I mean, we're taking one of them down. And I can do an enfeebling ray. I don't know who's got the big damage coming in. I don't think we got him. Oh, I could have seen right there. 
Durno was going to be the one to attack me. I should have crippled Durno. Shoot. Oh, well. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oof. Oh. This is an execution. Now I got all these defensive cards. It's great. These are status effects. Oh, God. Okay. I can take him out. Maybe make him surrender. That's all I can do. That's all I can hope for. Attack a random... Attack a random target. Okay. That's not what I wanted. That's all I can do. Okay. Oh, all that power. Oh, so much bleed. They're not done yet. Okay, now I'm done. I got nothing. I got nothing in the tank. At the end of your turn, take two damage. I'm going to just take it right now. Oh, man. Why did we take this job? This is such a bad idea. We didn't take anybody out. Dead. Dead as disco. That is it. Game over. We survived for one day. We won two battles, ten negotiations, two graphs installed, and two people loved us, including the person we were sent to kill. So we got new items added to the pool. We got uh, a couple of negotiation cards, a couple of battle cards we can pick from next time, swap those things out, make the deck a little better to start with here. That's kind of cool. I might have to look through these and add those on there here. But that is going to do it for our first run. We got experience, it looks like. We unlocked different things. We unlocked this the setup in the crusher. Those items will become available. Then we can unlock extra things. Evoke and Bloody Mess. Big Draw of the Fury. All kinds of stuff we can unlock by losing. So losing is part of the game. It's going to happen eventually no matter what. Well, maybe not necessarily. But we will win at some point. Just not our very first time playing this. So that is going to do it for our first run. Choose our legacy. Oh, you're running this run to the end. At least you take something with you. I want this. This was very, very helpful. Retry from morning. You can only do this once per day. Oh. Return to the previous morning and try again. I don't know. I might just keep this because this is going to set us up better. I don't know. It's so tough because we, we got so far. We got so far. Spree will like you by default. That's kind of nice. But this brain, midbrain padding is also very kind of nice. Gives us uh, one composure on all arguments at the end of our turn. I love that. I'm taking that. Last time someone made your life miserable, you kept tabs, called in favors, and stayed alert. You took them down and climbed out of the gutter they kept you in. Cassio is no different. All right, so we're back at the bar here. Fish is waiting for you, her hip cocked against the bar. Long time, Sal, but it feels like I just saw you. Guess I ain't changed that much, huh? Some things don't, knowing there's one thing you're after, that bounty. Do some jobs today. I promise I'll help you out tomorrow. For now, you're welcome to your home. Okay. So we get an upgraded negotiation card, two negotiation cards, or a combat graph slot. Ooh, a combat graph slot. That could be very good long term. I'm going to take an upgraded negotiation card, though. Um, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade this guy right here. I found that very useful. And I'm going to do the uh, Diplomatic Instincts. Well, that's the start of a new run here, though. I think we're going to have to wrap up here because I don't have enough time to really get into a brand new run here. But uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. The game is cool. I'll be revisiting this in the future here. I might, if you guys want me to just, just jump right into a new one here, let me know in the comments down below and I can pick it right back up again. We'll play some more of it. I love this game. So uh, I would be happy to play some more of this. But uh, for now, that's our very first run of Griftlands. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And then I'll see you back next time for more.